man, this is sad, dog. I'm looking at a dude named Devin Gibson. 3.1 million subscribers. I have, he like me, light skinned nigga. His mama probably white, daddy black, or vice versa. But all in all, to me, it's like they love this Candace Owens motherfucker. This bitch just literally said a black guy was trying to just tell her, like, listen, you know, with the race difference in the world, how shit is unfair. But you let a black motherfucker like Candace Owens, she don't think the world is unfair towards black people. Man, listen, dog, she just identified. He said, look, talking about the slaves that were killed, like, he pretty much acts like, why are the Black Panthers dead and in prison and gone, but the Ku Klux Klan still exist out here? And she was, they, they all jumped up on stage like, what, Ku Klux Klan? Show me. She was like, the Ku Klux Klan don't exist. This bitch literally said that the Ku Klux Klan don't exist no more. Where are they? Well, Candace Owens, the Grand Wizard, is here in Michigan. Literally. They eat on Michigan Avenue at the little place right there on Michigan and Trammell. That's where they eat it. I watched the documentary. They eat. I eat in the same restaurant. They eat right there on the corner of Michigan and Trumbull. The Grand Wizard of the Ku Klux Klan comes here and eats there. They 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 they, they had a big thing here. Mississippi, they all they everywhere. What do you mean? Stop acting stupid. Okay, they not as active. Who gives a fuck about it? They land dormant though. They behind a lot of shit. See, the thing is, they in high places. They in there in these police officers' jobs that's killing black people. They in high places. They hide now. They don't have to. They don't have to wear the sheet no more. They do the shit open face now. What are you talking about? Like something's wrong with her, man. Like, like literally, it's it's really sad. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, I just can't say what I want to on this motherfucker. But for her to tell that little young boy, where's the toothless clan? And then this is what she said. She said, "You talking about the toothless clan killing blacks? Yeah, they killed a couple thousand blacks, but." What you call that shit? When girls go get the abortions and shit, it's called something live, something. But whatever that shit is, what, 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 you know, that right to some shit, where they get the abortions and shit, right for black people, whatever. They was like that. That killed millions of black people. What are you talking about? She was like, and look at this. Us Republicans was getting killed back. She said, us Republicans, bro. She ain't, now she don't identify as the black people. She but she said us Republicans were getting killed. Right then, boy, I just lost all respect, period. Like, she's sad, man. Candace Owens is sad, man. You know, she thinks she's so fucking educated. She thinks she, because she speak a little different. She gonna keep on, she gonna get her issue, though. You know what I'm saying? Because, look, you they token. She kept talking about how Cardi B being used, but she's being used. Just like this motherfucker, Devin Gibson. All these motherfuckers with these flags hanging, you already know right then. 3.1 million views, boy, you getting some money out here. So you ain't too much worried about either way it go, because you can you probably got a business, you probably, you know, your white daddy, you probably work for him. So you you think everything fair. You know what I'm saying? And you know what I'm saying? You probably think the world is fair. Cause you everything good for you. You not from the hood. I can look at this dude until he ain't never been in the hood a day in his life, right? So he don't know what it's like. So he, so with a person like Candace Owens, he gonna roll with him. We got too many sellouts out here, man. That's why I'm telling you now, man. See, people look down on people. Like I say, when Candace Owens tried to down Megan Thee Stallion, tried to down Cardi B, bitch, because you ain't got no ass on you. You know what I'm saying? And, you you know, it's but here go the whole point. She literally talked about Kamala Harris. And she did this the reason I can talk about her, about her white husband and their white half breed kids. This is why I can talk about this because she literally talked about Kamala Harris. She said, Look at her husband. Look at her kids. Do you think they ever listen to fucking Megan Thee Stallion? But look at your husband. Look at your kids. So what are you talking about? Y'all, y'all the same two people. I can't explain that shit. I don't understand this. For Candace Owens, I've never seen her say nothing good about black people. Anytime a black person killed this day for, she tried to go in about the black lady who got killed. Cardi B jumped on her ass, though. You know what I'm saying? She tried to say something about that. Like, why this shit making the news now? You know what I'm saying? It's, it's Man, it's, this shit is, uh, she a token. But they love, this who they love. They love having a black person who take up for white people. 
because they they can get a following. They get motherfuckers who like minded like them, so they looking like, okay, we not seeing this racist shit. We got a black person doing the work for us, and that's what I be seeing. That's the same thing about the Jay Z's and all that. They got black people doing the work for us. You know what I'm saying? If we got a product, all we got to do is have enough money to pay a black motherfucker to promote this shit. A rapper, and, and we can push whatever through the hood. We can wrap fentanyl in it and have a rapper promote it, and we can sell it through the hood. It's all good. Look, 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 look at the malt liquor shit. Rappers, who they get to do it? Rappers, people selling out their own people, though, my dog. Liquor commercials. You know what I'm saying? How many white people do you see on fucking liquor commercials? How many white people, the motherfuckers who own it don't even promote it because they don't want their people on that shit. Just think the people who actually own some rock, Bel Air and all that shit that Jay-Z say he owned, the white people who actually own it don't promote it. But they pay a black person. They want a black face to this because they want us to spend the money because they know white people are not about to spend all. They about to give them a fucking $10 bottle of Jack Daniels and go the fuck home, my nigga. Niggas want to pay $100, $200 a fifth for some shit. You know what I'm saying? They know this shit, dog. So, you know what I'm saying? It's just crazy how the world go, man. And then, you know, I fought us, but I don't fought us, dog. When a motherfucker never really had shit and you coming from nothing and there's no way out and you see this your way and you really not looking like it's sudden out, we drink, we do this. So I understand getting that check. Okay, I put my face on this. I put my face on BET. I put my face on Revolt. And we can put all this bullshit and that rap music through it. And they think it's black on. When it's not, we don't own shit. You know what I'm saying? And then you get people of our own kind like this, dog. And, and it's, you know, and listen, bro, look at me. Look at my eyes, bro. I'm, I'm far from racist. I'm, so I don't want to hear nobody be like, you. I'm talking fairness. Now, anybody who know me, I'm fair all across the motherfucking board, my nigga. But I'm tired of these sellout motherfuckers. I've never, I, I, I think all these rappers need their shit revoked. It's either you a drill rapper, you, you causing as much harm as you can to the hood. But and these motherfuckers ain't millionaires, man. Get the fuck out of here. They they geek these motherfuckers. They want the world to think these guys so rich. You know what I'm saying? This nigga got killed in an old ass charger. You know, but they want they want they want to put this fake jury on. They want to make it look like you getting all this money for rapping to make kids want to actually go out there. I can make one song and just be this rich, right? That's why these motherfuckers don't show off houses no more. You don't see all they showing off is some fake ass jewelry and a car or two. You never see houses or what business they own. They never show none of that type of shit. All you want to show these kids is the bling, which probably fake as a motherfucker anyway. Who would ever know? How would I ever know of this shit? Why, why spend your money on this shit to be real when there's so much of this fake ass shit around? Why even spend your money on some real shit? You know what I'm saying? But they got niggas doing it though. These motherfuckers probably shit fake as a motherfucker, but they got motherfuckers out here doing PPP loans, going to spend thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy thousand dollars for a goddamn watch, and you ain't even got a motherfucking car. The nigga in Detroit, Michigan, you can look this shit up, Google it. This motherfucker took must have hit a lick on his PPP loan. Nigga spent thirty some thousand dollars for a chain, put this shit on the internet. Nigga came in. This nigga walking to the gas station. He spent thirty some thousand dollars for a motherfucking chain. A Cuban link of all things. Went to the gas station. They robbed that nigga. Anybody from Detroit, you know this. He was walking. He didn't even have a motherfucking car. This how brainwashed they got these motherfuckers. Fuck even starting a business. Bitch, you didn't even have, you didn't even pay $1,500 for a hoopty. You you walked to the gas station with a $30,000 chain that you had on. You hit a lick on and a nigga robbed you for it. And you got enough nerve to be stupid enough to go on the news. My chain got took. I wouldn't dare let a motherfucker know I got robbed for some shit. Man, they, they got us so fucked up, dog. And you want to blame us, Candace Owens? When this all the kids looking at, look at the, every rapper that we got out here. Like I say, the Jay-Z's, the, I can't stand that motherfucker no more. Oprah Winfrey, Michael Jordan. When have you ever seen them sit down and say anything about the problems that be in the hood? You always see them at a white function. So around some motherfucking more billionaires they not reaching back see them billionaires not worried about their people they giving to cancer foundations they giving to shit to help people you know what I'm saying they, they people straight believe me they people straight it's your motherfucking people and then the first thing niggas, niggas turn white like a motherfucker they worse than white people white people help black people more than black people 
Like, real talk, you get a nigga with some money, I don't feel sorry for them niggas. They're going to do the Candace Owens. First thing they're going to say, I don't feel sorry for them niggas. They don't want to work. They out here shooting and killing each other. Man, fuck them niggas. That's how your own people, that's that's a Michael Jordan type of motherfucker. I'm building prisons to lock these niggas up. They buying my shoes. I'm going to build a prison for to lock these niggas up. Niggas killing over his shoes. Have you ever addressed that shit? You know what I'm saying? You ain't never seen Michael Jordan nowhere sit down and talk about Tiger Woods, Michael Jordan, Jay-Z, all that prison reform shit. Man, get the fuck out of here. When have you ever heard them motherfuckers get up and give a speech anywhere or be in any hood saying, look, we got to cut this shit out. Listen, here go the plan. We're going to get all the rappers. We coming together because everybody living good now. Once you see the other side of life, dog, you supposed to be let kids know, like, it's more to this than this what you're doing. This shit not real. Like, like I'm listening to Ace Young and whatever his young and Ace, whatever his name is, he good young kid, dog. He on here talking. And he basically saying, like, look, I, I have to troll. Like, I, you know, I get way more. Everybody agreeing to this shit. But he can't give up his gimmick. He can't say, look, I didn't do this to Julio, you know, Julio, Julio. He got to add, like, he has something to do with it. Because that's going to get him, he trolling. That's going to get him more views. Like, he, he probably ain't have nothing in the world to do with that shit. But shit, since they own him, that's more publicity for him. So it, even though he might want to straighten that shit out, he kind of said it like, look, I don't, nigga, this type of shit we do. Because they was like, y'all friends. I seen y'all talking. But even if they were friends, they can't talk about that shit. They got to keep with the negative. I got to keep it like I had something to do with it. When the police come get me, they can't. But he even said it. He's smart enough to know they can't link me to this murder. He, he said it on the thing. They can't link me to this murder. No murders. Because, look, the shit that y'all, the, the only thing I'm rapping about is the shit that y'all made public. So these kids know now I can take public information about whatever happened. Three dead, one, one dead, three shot. All that shit on the news, I can make a rap about it from distance. And people think I know it has something to do with it. And that's going to get me views. But look how, look how much it's putting their life in danger, though. You know what I'm saying? Look how much it's putting their motherfucking life in danger, though. But they willing to do that for that money, my nigga. They willing to do it. That power feel good. I'm getting money. I'm known. People really think I'm a gangster. You know what I'm saying? I don't got to do nothing. I'm not a gangster. I'm not none of this shit. But I'm getting respect. And I'm feared like I'm a gangster. And I got money. Who will get that up? Nigga, you got people scared of you. Because they think you this nigga that you rapping about. You getting all the money to look like a gangster. You got people around you that you can pay to protect you. Now I got police as fucking, uh, I got the police as motherfucking escorts through any city. So I ain't got to worry about a nigga doing nothing to me. I can ride in bulletproof cars. I'm just, I made myself a gangster and I never did no gangster shit. And I'm getting rich from it. But what happens is, bro, niggas get too cocky. Niggas, they can't, they can't get out of character. So what happened is the same shit that happened to Blade in my hood. The same shit happened to Dolph. Niggas get, get too, I'm too much. Now you, you, you stuck in character. Now you really think you this motherfucking gangster and you can't be touched. So now you want to be like the rest of these niggas. I don't go nowhere with security. Niggas lying like a motherfucker. Motherfuckers on TV lying. Eight police motherfuckers behind the camera. Nigga, I'm in the hood by myself. No security. Motherfucker, eight security. Police with badges around their neck, with bulletproof vests on, guarding these niggas. But he on camera talking about some. I, I I go with her hood without security. Come on, cut it out, man. This shit fake as fuck, dog. And they got these motherfuckers really believing they land like that. Next thing you know, they get the dog happen. The same shit with Blade. You know what I'm saying? And motherfuckers always talking about something. Well, get a bodyguard. Get a bodyguard. Nigga, the fucking bodyguard might set me up. I don't know this motherfucker. He live. Look at it. Look at them scandalous ass bodyguards that we see on TV talking. The Gene Deals. And what's the other fat motherfucker name who got his teeth knocked out? The fat nigga talking about telling everything. Telling everything. He telling everything he know. And telling about some how they be. I guard these people's houses. He looks scandalous, man. You think he won't double back and have some shit broken into when he know he not guarding there? You don't think they'll put a play down on you? Nigga, I think that's what happened to Kim Kardashian. Her own security set her up, my nigga. So I'm supposed to trust this nigga. How I know he gonna shoot when it's time to shoot? I don't know this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Why would he catch a murder case for me? Even though I'm paying him to protect me, 
But how can he just shoot and kill somebody? What give him a license to kill? If it's my life, I know I'm going to shoot. I know I'm going to protect myself. But they keep that felon in possession shit over us, man. It's a lot of shit we're against, dog. I know I'll be going off subject. I know I'm supposed to be talking about this Candace Owens motherfucker, man. This mother, You know what I'm saying? But because, listen, but back to her, she don't think that, 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 that black people, she think everything that is wrong on black people is done by black people on this our fault. She don't think it's nothing wrong. Everybody who, who get killed by the police is our fault. It's our fault that we poor. It's our fault that we fucked up. And that come from a bit a rich black motherfucker married to a, a rich white motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Your life is all good. You don't know nothing about the hood. You ain't never came from nothing fucked up. And if you did, you one of the motherfuckers, you got with a white person. And you roll with that shit. You embarrassed to your own people. Everything Candace Owens say is against blacks. Everything. She's always on the show arguing with another black person about, and she try to swear she's smarter than everybody else. She come up with all this philosophy, how the world is equal and, 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 and white people can't get jobs because of affirmative action. Man, dog, she's, nigga, listen. The devil, boy, that's why Steve, how you think she, I, listen, man, I just told you about this Devin dude. It's a whole bunch of motherfuckers I be watching now. When you see that motherfucker, you might, that, that United States flag might as well be a Confederate flag because they hang it and, and, and the way they act is the same meaning behind it. Like real talk, when you see a motherfucker hanging up, too proud motherfucker, when you see a motherfucker that's too proud to be from this, I'm not going to never fly no motherfucking American flag that high. Nigga, the way they treat niggas, you think I'm going to fuck around and just have a fucking flag? Like, I'm that proud to be in this motherfucker? Like, you think I want to send my sons to fight for this motherfucker here? Bad as they treat us in this motherfucker? First thing they say, well, go somewhere else then. You go somewhere else. We built this motherfucker. We just want what's rightfully ours. But like I say, when you start seeing these American flags behind these black niggas or anybody, when you see too many big-ass proud American flags... They know they can't hang a Confederate flag, so they get bigger American flags. I'm telling you, man, I see that shit a lot. I see that shit a lot. I see trucks with motherfucking 20-foot flags. They riding up the street with these motherfuckers. Believe me, if they could, they had a Confederate flag on that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? And and like I say, for her to just... Oh, my God, man. Have you ever seen Candace Owens with a, with a black person ever in history? Ever have you ever seen her like with a black friend on a on, on a? Every time you see her at any event that I've ever seen her in, who's she around? Bunch of white. Who she following is a president, a white man. Everything about her is white. Everything. The way she talked, the way she walked, the way she act, the way she how she down black people, how she motherfucker asked her what's the Ku Klux Klan. Still real. And then she like a she not only just like a white person, she like a racist white person. You know how racist white people can't stand immigrants and can't stand uh you know gay people and shit. You know how you know how you get a two plus clan member. I don't like niggers, I don't like uh Mexicans, I don't like gays. That's how that's her. That's her like a motherfucker. That's her all her day. She's a 80 year old racist white woman and a 30, 40 some year old black woman body. And she hated my nigga. I'm telling you, y'all better listen. And y'all better stop thinking that all these rappers, y'all, you know, everybody, everybody, nigga, when everybody be like Jay-Z this, Jay-Z that, bro, I think he's one of the biggest sellouts in the world. Look who he cheated on Beyonce with. What did Beyonce, what did, what did, what did, who, come on, man. Who, 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 listen, I can't even get up so mad. Who, you think this nigga gonna be on any Say Cheese? You think he gonna be on any urban you think he'll go to Shay Shay? He ain't, when do you see Jay-Z sit down and talk to any black person? Unless he way up there like a big multi-man. You know what I'm saying? And I know the first thing going to come out some ignorant motherfucker's mouth is, why would he? Like he, like nigga, what y'all don't understand is we made this nigga. It's our money. How the fuck do you think he got rich off black people? Poor black motherfuckers went to his concerts bought his product, supported him. So you telling me, nigga, you too good to get down here and get on a say cheese and help another black man blow up Jay-Z on that motherfucker? You ain't even been on Drink Champs. And Nori 
got a pair of knee pads on. That nigga want to eat you up so bad. That's all he talk about is Jay this, Jay this, hove this, hove that. Nigga, hove ain't never even, never step foot close to that motherfucker. Ain't going to step close to that. He think he too big for that shit, man. And that's the same thing. I see even poor ass rappers like Boosie, a poor motherfucker sitting there talking about something. Nigga sitting there trying to do his little gig and talk to Boosie. Soon as he, Boosie found out he had nigga from Detroit too, he was spraying a little shit on his shoes like, hey man, doing this little spill. One gonna cost Boosie nothing. One about to take him out his way to do shit. He just running his little gimmick on him. And he said, oh my no, he a big podcaster. That nigga said, no, no, stop the tape. Don't record me. Don't record this. No, you gotta pay me. Man, nigga shit, bro. That's nigga shit, man. Come on, man. The nigga, come on, man. God damn, dog. You, I mean, come on, man. I mean, I understand hustling, but god damn, dog. You can't give a nigga a break. You know what I'm saying? The nigga out here trying to hustle, he ain't taking you out your way nowhere. He ain't asking you to come nowhere. He just sitting here like, hey, I got this product. You know what I'm saying? He ain't asking you to buy nothing. He ain't asking you to promote nothing. He just run his little gig on you for his people. And you couldn't do that, my nigga, without getting paid. That's man, these niggas crazy, bro. And like I say, karma a bad motherfucker though. Like I say, karma, man, listen, dog. Boosie, that's what that's what's happening to Boosie right now. It's karma, dog. Like I say, you put up you done did all this shit. You done got on, you know, you stay on a white platform more than you do any of your people's. You know what I'm saying? You know how many people want a Boosie interview? But no, you just strictly, I'm going to Vlad. I'm going to Vlad. I'm going to Vlad. You know what I'm saying? I don't see him on no other shows too much but that one. You see him on one or two back in the day, but now it's just, if it ain't Vlad, it's nobody. But I think he learned his lesson. I think he learned his lesson. Now, I don't see, I ain't seen him on that shit since he been out this time. You know what I'm saying? I think he caught on to that shit. Like, this nigga really on some bogus. His lawyer probably told him, like, man, shut the fuck up. Stay off that nigga shit. And I think he bogus. I'm telling you, man. It is what it is, dog. Like I say, but it ain't just only white people that got these. It's our own kind that's fucking us up too, bro. So we can't just blame the blasts and the no jumpers. They only they only monopolize off what we let them. You know what I'm saying, nigga? These niggas out here doing motherfuckers' worth. These are academics, man. That boy asked that boy all type of police ass questions. Man, he could dog listen. Off that interview alone, they gonna take some and indict that nigga, man. I seen two or three different things where he tried to get this young boy to say something about that young. He kept on that Julio Furio shit, nigga. You know we beefing. You know they think we did it. So why do you keep asking me these police ass questions? And he, it's like he, he, he high. It's like he don't even realize how how hungry you look for the information. It's like you a police officer begging, like, let me solve this case. Let me solve this case. Did, 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 did. So you are you and Julio friends? Where was you at? What was you at when you heard the news? What was you at? he asked him a thousand times, my nigga. And then look, this I knew it was a setup because look at he had the liquor on the thing. He was getting Julio food. Not who he was getting young and dog, young and ace or whatever. It's not ace young. And he was getting them drunk, bro. He had the pint of liquor right there. He knew that was the shit. He said, so he bought it there for him. Like, OK, got him drinking. Because he figured once he get him drinking, he going to slip up. Dog, I watched this whole nigga. I never liked DJ Academics, man. I don't get two fucks about him now, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'm coming for that ass. That's for sure. But but that's a black brother, though. Like I say, I, I'm trying not to. But I just do not like sellouts, dog. I don't like that shit. So I got to come at them like I do racist motherfuckers. Ain't no difference than, than, than a motherfucker like that because they don't do us no good. You know what I'm saying? Why are you up here trying to do the police work, man? Why are you asking these police ass questions, man? And you know what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? So you was trying to get this young boy jammed up in some shit that he might not even got nothing to do with. Like I said, nine times out of ten, he don't got nothing to do with this shit. But DJ Academic, we got so many of these Candace Owens type motherfuckers around us, dog. Look, look at look how he talk. Look how he, look how look how he carry himself, man. He's not hood, my nigga. Don't everybody have to be hood, bro? But you gotta know the struggle to help the struggle. How can you help the struggle you've never been through? You've never been in it. You don't know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Too many motherfuckers is getting rich off us, dog, and just leaving. You know what I'm saying? No help, no nothing, and then just sit back and wonder why shit like it is. Motherfuckers getting millions of dollars off the black community, dog, and just saying, fuck us. Our own people, though. And then white people. And these motherfuckers letting white people use them to use them. You know what I'm saying? Like I told you, man, all these liquors and all these fake ass, these niggas don't own none of that shit, dog. They they use niggas to promote their poison through it. 
You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers are acting like they own this shit. They don't own this shit, man. You know, it's just real talk, bro. Candace Owens is fucked up. Kamala Harris fucked up. Jay Z fucked up. Michael Jordan fucked up. Oprah Winfrey fucked up. DJ Academics fucked up. I can go on down the list, man. You know what I'm saying? How the fuck is Oprah Winfrey over in Hawaii, over in Africa with Jay Z? Talking you everywhere except for South Side of Chicago. You talking about you over? You you trying to take these people land? You think they stupid? You over there with the Rock trying to get the United States black people money? Cause you over there, you a black motherfucker. So you trying to get anybody money that you y'all love playing the fucking black card when, when y'all want something? But them people over there wouldn't even buying that shit. They was like, man, get the fuck on. Give a fuck about no rock. You gon' you gon' you 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 played the rock like how 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 what you call it playing um uh uh uh. uh Candace Owens, you brought a rock because you thought he Hawaiian. You thought, okay, I'm I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna go get him to come over here with me, and all the Hawaiian people gonna see him and be like, oh, we gonna donate. They told you to get your get the fuck out of here. It's like, bitch, get the fuck on somewhere with it. We see what you're trying to do, but I never seen her in the South Side of Chicago talking about some. Hey, could y'all donate? We need to stop this violence. We need to build some schools. We need to get people help. You know, well. The people who own houses that need help with roof and windows and shit like that or behind on taxes. We need black ownership in black communities. Y'all not helping nobody, man. They not doing it, bro. Like I say, though, I done talked to motherfucking fair kind of this bitch. In a minute, people ain't going to fuck with me because I'm getting to, I'm getting to talk. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about shit that's a thin line. You know what I'm saying? And so a lot of people ain't going to fuck with me because of my views, but these my views, dog. And I feel that way. I know Jay-Z, y'all favorite rapper. You know what I'm saying? And all that shit, but he's a fucking sellout, dog. Like I say, nigga, he fucking with white women. You know what I'm saying? What he gonna fuck, bitch, out of all the bitches in the world, you gonna fuck a white woman on your back on Beyonce? Like, come on, man. This nigga, boy, they be catching that fever shit, dog. It ain't about, like I say, you love who you love, my nigga, but it's just something about these motherfuckers when they get this money, bro. When they turn them, they turn them. It's like they know they got them a little sucker, a little, uh, 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 a little pine, you know what I'm saying, for anything. And that's why they don't come to the community. That's why they don't talk. Jay-Z would get on the interview and talk about Dame Dash. He would talk about every fucking thing else it is, except for what's going on in the hoods, what's going on in the Marshall Projects, Brooklyn, what's going on with New York, what's up with the crime out here in Chicago, what can we do to stop this shit? That should be on any of these motherfuckers' minds. Shouldn't be no other talk, but what can we do to curb this violence in the black community? But you know if you do that shit, they going to cut your water off, nigga. You know what I'm saying? But at this point, you so motherfucking rich now, boy, you can gamble that shit because it's going to pay off when you when you bet with your people. It's going to pay off, man, nigga. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's crazy, man. I'm tired of turning on the TV seeing this shit too, man. But it is what it is. I'm Trap Talk Blue. You know what it is, man. Make sure y'all share this shit. Hit like. And subscribe to me if you ain't subscribed.